Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test stream. Today we are taking a look at the remarkably epic patch base. So, patch base is a software editor for many, many, many synths, which I'm going to show you. Uh, but because the only one that I've got that works with patch base is the JDXI, this is the one I'm going to be showing you. So anybody who's got a JDXI will know how crazy, crazy uh, menu digging it is to really get in, in there. And once you do get in there, once you see it on patch base, you'll be absolutely amazed at what's, at what's actually in the JDXI to edit. Now, just let me, before we go, I'll show you. There is a version. You download this to make sure it works okay. And then let me just show you the difference since you get. So you have all these Casios here. You can see a couple of the Nords. You can scroll up some of the Dave Smiths, the Mofo, the Mofo keyboard, and Sonic. Loads of Korg stuff. Look, Micro Korg, Mini Log, um, Volker FM. So, I mean, you know, this really does a lot of stuff that a lot of people have got, like, you know, uh, Oberheim stuff, uh, Roland. What Rolands are there? All these different Rolands. JDXI. JDXI. Um, Waldorf Blofeld. Yeah, tons of Yamaha stuff as well. Like you got the DXs and stuff. So that's what you get. Okay. Now, if you wanted to say, for instance, you have a many people have uh, like a, a mini log. If you want, there, there are certain options. Like I said, you can download this and make sure that it works, but you won't be able to alter the synth and stuff like that. You know, fair enough. You can see how much work has gone into this. Uh, and this is a totally 100% unsponsored video. I just, I contacted the developer and said, look, I make videos. You probably don't know me because it's not relevant, but I've got a JDXI. Could you send me the promo and I'll, I'll so I can have a look at it? And he was a really nice guy, Chadwick, and he, he's just updated patch base. So this is patch base three now. So mini log, here we go. So add mini log editor. Okay. So you've added the mini log editor there. So you can open it up. And then, like I said, you can see if it actually works. Now, if you want full access to every single one of the editors, you can do it either on a monthly thing or you can do a one-time purchase okay which is 28.99 to be fair to have a software editor that ain't bad that's not bad, especially on your ipad you know what i mean but there are the options anyway all access monthly you, you can that's like the all access ones are for absolutely everything that's in patch base okay so if you've got a ton of those since that's probably well worth the dosh anyway right here we go. Now, this is, so this is done, done, done. Let me have to get out of this now. Right, there we go. But we're going to do the JDXI. So there are a couple of things you need to set up. I would certainly advise switching on the iCloud sharing. Okay. So here it is. Here is the first part. Now you'll see it says digital one, which refers to digital synth one here. You know, we have the drums, the analog synth. People are going to know if they've got a JDXI, what's what. So... Here's the thing you need to do. This is important. First of all, you want to set up your MIDI. Okay, so you open MIDI and make sure that your, if it's a JDXI that you're using, your JDXI is, you know, switched on. You don't need to worry about network sessions for this. Okay. And the second part is the uh, device ID, which is at the very top. If you hit this little icon here, go into here, you'll see device ID. Now, you can find out the device ID or MIDI number that since used to communicate on the internet, it's easy peasy. However, uh, patch base sometimes loads the number for you. This is what I would highly, highly recommend as you, when you first load patch base. Patch base for the JDXI, the MIDI ID number is seventeen. With seventeen for every single one, okay. And it will probably find it, but I would certainly advise you do this, okay. You pick it up and you adjust it back to seventeen, okay. And you will definitely get communication, no problem. Right. Okay, so let's go back to digital part one. On the JDX, I have JPH, uh, yeah, the Jupiter strings. Now, we can close that now. What I want to do now is load all the information from the Roland, and there are tons of things to do, but too much to go through in one video, okay, like saving banks, etc., etc. If you want to get into that, that's fine. I just want to show you the editor. All you need to do 
is you see with this little keyboard icon, this drop down icon here is just tap that and you'll see automatically it loads and you'll see it loads my uh, patch JP a uh, JPH strings one. And now I can And then I can edit each partial individually as you normally would or switch them off. So partial one, partial two, partial three, which will be initial patch. Let's change the wave to a pulse wave. Let's do some release, a bit of attack. So what I'm trying to say is you have full control over the entire synth from within this. And of course, you can, what will you, if you hit this now, it will send this information that's in here to here. But that would be handy if I wanted to then go to another patch that I'd stored inside Patch Bay, uh, 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 Patch Base, sorry, and wanted to then load it into the JD. However, you of course know that this setting is already now saved. And if I wanted to save it, I just go through the procedure of saving it, etc., like this, you know, uh, shift, right. And then we can just uh, enter, enter, enter. And it'll write my new sound that I've got in there now to the... Uh, So if I go to another program, that one for instance, and then go back, all my information is saved. But if you own a JD, you, exactly, you'll know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so let's turn them all on. Okay, so let's move on to Digital Synth 2. How do I get to Digital Synth 2? This is Digital Synth 1. Not a problem there. We hit this little icon here with the two slit squares. Go to Digital Synth 2. We can close that so we can see what we're doing. It's another initial patch. Radio. So this is where we can start to choose our tone. We can say, well, what do we want? Let's have a, let's have a piano. Let's sync that up. So we've got JD piano now on two. And then we can, again, Also, you have control over your, where are we here? Your programs, where you can, like your effects, sends, levels, et cetera, et cetera. Everything that you can do inside the JDXI by digging into the menu, you can do much, much easier on screen with patch base. Obviously, you know, so this is why it's an actual, if you're into programming your JD. Now let's go to drums, right? And we'll choose drums here. This is unbelievable. Right, let's, sorry. The drums on the JDXI are absolutely huge. Let me just turn the volume down a little bit for that. Right. So, you might see this one at the moment here is, is referring to this first drum. Okay, let me just fetch this in, so you'll see. Now, what's it? What it's doing here is fetching all all the drums, all the drums in the JDXI in. Now, you'll see down here now that this says Wave L, which is Wave Left, nine oh nine kick. Okay, and if we go to drum number two with the rim shot, I'll change. And if we go to and whatever's in there.
That's great. So making adjustments to each individual partial, each individual drum sound now becomes a lot easier, obviously. But where this gets really cool is we can, let's see, I'll, do, I'll show you, right? Let's go to, and these are all the sounds, right? Let me just turn it off again. These are all the sounds that you can choose from in the JDXI for drums. So this is how easy it is to make your own kits. Hold wave R this time, and then all the sounds come up. And let's choose something completely different, like a tom sound. Okay. We should be able to... Do this one. So you can you can have two waves for each individual drum sound, and it'll what it'll do is when you load two, it'll it'll split them, and then you can choose to. Do whatever you want with the sound like that. So, I mean, the depth of the thing is incredible. Once we choose, let's turn that one off. Once we turn it back to one, it'll just be, it'll be in center like a, the drum should be, you know. It's the sounds, look. Look at all the sounds you get. It's incredible, isn't it? So we could have that one there. And you see how much easier that, and of course, now you, you know that how this works. If I save this now, this partial is going to be saved as part of that whole program. Don't even need to rename it. But you could, if you wanted to, save it in here and then reload it back in later. I think it's very, very, very cool. So, let's choose another kit, eh? Let's choose an 808. So, again, it'll fetch all the data for the 808 kit. Also, any adjustments that you make, you can save, okay? You can save inside. Um, you can save by just, you know, making new new program banks like that, you know. It's very, very clever. The, I'll tell you what, there are three. If you uh, search for patch base three, um, Chadwick's done three really, really informative videos about the basic stuff like saving patches and stuff, which which is the same for all synths. But I, because this is a JDXI, I'm showing you the JDXI bits, obviously. So if we didn't like it, like a lot, of, some in all of the kits in the JDXI, like anything else, there are always going to be sounds that are completely unnecessary that you don't really need. So say, okay, well, like, I don't really got, I don't know, I'm not going to need that hit. Let's change it out for another sound. So again, we just hold on here. I'm gonna say, wait. I need to know which one it is. Philly hit. So it's number 24. So if you if you were to well, you can see it's number 24, you know. <laughs> we can change that out now. Let's uh, change this to school hit. Or orchestra hit, sorry. Or we could go to classic house hit. And then we could change number 23 to strings hit. Anyway, guys. Oh. Let's do the let's go let's do one more. Let's go to analog. Let's go to analog synth now. Um let's go to this. Choose analog. And this is the analog synth. I just wanted to show you before we go. Choose analog down here. Um so again we can just call in. And then you can start to make adjustments.
to the sound. Anyway, you can really dig in deep, obviously, as you can see, program the whole JDXI from within patch base. Do what you do. You save it as a program, obviously, that saves all four things after you've uh, made adjustments. But it makes life so much easier, especially if you've got a sound that you like a lot in the JD, but you just want to make a few little adjustments here and there, but it means digging in through, through, through. At least with patch base, you can just go to whatever you need to adjust and, you know, digital one, et cetera, et cetera. Call in the patch, whatever patch you're on. It might be, I don't know. Let's see, Let me turn that down. What am I on? Digital synth one. Say we had... Uh, hollow pad we just needed to make a little bit of an adjustment to the to i don't know the release and the attack and we all know how nafty the one knob envelope is on the jdxi or maybe we wanted to change out one of the partials maybe too much release on that say we wanted to switch out one of the partials maybe partial number three maybe we wanted it to be a um one of the pcm waves here and these are all the pcm waves you get so so say we wanted it to be i don't this one There you go that's how easy it is and then etc you save you can do whatever you like then okay guys listen thanks for watching i'll put links in for patch base obviously like i said if whatever of those synths it works the same way this has been a 20 like a 15 20 minute video you can't really do all this synth program and stuff in that time just wanted to show you that it works great you just connect it via your i don't know if you can see you just stick your USB in the back and it, uh, it it just finds it. Make sure important things are the MIDI. That's the important thing, you know, JDXI or whatever it is you're using, of course. And make sure that you know your device ID. Okay, and then you're good to go. Easy peasy. But like I said, you can make the connection. Um you can make the connection for free. You can check it works, okay? It's not like, you know. And then you're, uh, you know, if you want to buy it, you can. Okay, see you later.